All right, I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, Tovia Singer, he teaches a lot of false doctrine about Christianity. He teaches all kinds of falsehood. And people don't know how to cross-examine what he says. They don't know how to test what he says. So they, what he says sounds true, but that's what the Bible says. Proverbs 18 and 17, the first one to present his case sounds right, but the cross-examination begins, and that's how the truth comes out. Well, you can see on here I wrote, under my account Jason Kerrigan well my other account JK Bugout was blocked but all of you saw my post now know the truth and also that this channel's content cannot withstand cross examination and relies on suppression of the facts be careful who and what you follow test everything thoroughly but you see my account JK Bugout you can't see it on here because I'm logged in under my other account so there are no comments on here from JK Bugout. That's how you know I, they just blocked me. And I'll show you what I was saying. And they can't withstand the truth. This is the exact same video. I just pointed out things that he says that are not true. Uh, and they don't say, okay, see, there you go. As soon as I come into it, here's the comment. You cannot see unless you're logged into my account. That's what happens when you get blocked on a YouTube channel. You can still see it. Nobody else can see it. So if I log into my other account, I can't see it, but I'm logged into JK Bugout. I can see it. And so we'll just, we'll show you what he says. Cause Toby is singer in here. He's trying to say, well, Jesus misrepresented the serpent on the pole. They weren't looking at the serpent on the pole, which the plague was the serpents. But he's like, they were looking at the heavens behind them. And it doesn't say that at all. He's just making up something and adding it to the text because he wants to uh, defame Jesus. All right, well, I'll just show it on here. Um, you can still see it under my account. Uh, I just said he's incorrect. He's making up stuff and he's just assuming stuff. And then I actually talked about the facts. And I think this is what really made him want to erase my text okay because it wasn't something that you know you could argue because toby singer says that paul this is something he kind of keeps on saying that paul is just lying about the the old testament he's just making up readings of the old testament when paul is quoting the septuagint absolutely quoting the septuagint and then toby singer says the ridiculous statement that the septuagint when he calls it the christian's little septuagint quote unquote that the Septuagint was produced by Origen, and Origen basically produced a text that incorporated Paul's made-up text to make it seem like the Septuagint actually said that, which is ridiculous, and any scholar will know that's just ridiculous. Origen did not do that. Origen actually preserved the text of the Septuagint. Uh, he had a hexapla, which was eight different uh, text side by side and one of the texts he did he added the Septuagint text and the Greek translation of Theodosius uh, he added the two readings together so he would mark that this reading is different than this reading this and he compiled them into an edited text uh, but that is not the and, and Tovia falsely says that is the text that you're going to get if you go on Amazon. If you go on Amazon and you get a Septuagint, that's what you get. No, it's not. It is not Origins edited compiled text of the Septuagint that you get on Amazon. He is wrong about that. And that's what I pointed out here. And anybody could see it. And I said, anybody can. Uh, so Tovia is simply incorrect. And anyone can research these things and see I'm telling the truth. The Septuagint text you get on Amazon is not, as Tovia Singer said, the text from origin. It is Codex Vaticanus, by and large. This is the one you're going to get, uh, which is an edited text from Jerome. And Jerome did not even accept origin's compiled text as something that was valid. He did not use that as the basis for his text. So a completely different text than what Tovia Singer says these are just facts. Tovia Singer is factually wrong. And when I pointed it out on his channel, they blocked me. I'm on here just stating facts. They erased my comment and then they blocked me. Okay. So I want to put this on record uh, that Tovia Singer, his, he is wrong and they are blocking. They are erasing comments that prove he is wrong and they are blocking 
uh, people who prove that he is wrong. So he is appealing to the ignorance of the masses. He's lying about stuff. And then whenever people come and reprove what he says, just like they crucified Jesus because they didn't like to be reproved, they just block you and shut you out. Right? This is the method that he is using. So he is wrong. He's leading people astray. And he's just factually, historically, I mean, some things are subjective. You know, you could argue doctrine back and forth and, you know, but some things are just historical facts. And he's on the facts, the historical facts, the objective facts. He's wrong. And they can't they can't stand it when you point that out. So I'm calling him out. He's a false teacher. And the only reason why he is able to seem right is because they suppress the opposing voices on his channel.